Hey everybody, it's Dave Chamberlain with dbwproductions.com. Today, I'm gonna to teach you three ways to make a ping pong delay using Logic's stock plugins. The first way is using the tape delay plugin. This is a super great delay, but unfortunately, it's mono only. Here's a sample. Don't wanna hear about it. I have the delay set to quarter notes. I have a little bit of filter adjusted here so it has more of a lo-fi feedback effect. And now I'm gonna insert Logic's tremolo plugin, the mono to stereo version. That's very important, so we get a stereo effect. Make sure your depth is turned up. And another thing, since we're using quarter note delay over here, I need to make sure my rate's set to half notes. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Don't wanna hear If you want to make the panning effect more obvious, you adjust your smoothing all the way off. You'll hear it pan more abruptly. I personally like it turned up a little bit. It sounds a little too jagged sounding. And probably the depth not quite as wide. Don't want to hear about it. The second way is using Logic Stereo Delay plugin. I'm using the mono to stereo version. And then I have a couple settings in the plugin that are very important. I have the right input set to right. I have the left input set to off. I have the delay times set to the exact same time, in this case quarter notes. You can play around with these, of course, depending on your song tempo. I also am only using the cross feed controls. So what's happening is the signal's going into the right side. It's being fed into the left side. And from the left side, it's being fed back into the right side and creating a feedback loop. Don't want to hear about it. To make things more interesting, I put a channel EQ in before the delay plugin set to sort of a telephone EQ setting, and then a distortion effect, and then finally the delay. This gives the whole thing more of a lo-fi effect. Don't want to hear about it. The third way is to use Logic's Delay Designer plugin. Once again, I'm using the mono to stereo version. I open it up, and I, currently I have one tap selected at quarter note grid. I want to add a second tap. If you click down here, it turns into a pencil tool. You can add another one. I'll play that for you. So I have two delays following each other. So I went left to right, so I click on pan. I make sure the left, the first one's going left and the second one's going right. Let me play that for you. I go over here and I select tap B and then I make sure feedback is turned on. And this is how I adjust my feedback level. So I'll keep it right around where it is, see what happens. If you want less taps, turn that down. You can also experiment with level. I might turn down the second tap a little bit. And you can experiment with the cutoff frequencies. So you turn these down gradually. It'll taper off and get a little duller sounding. I'll change the low end as well. There you go. Three ways to make a ping pong delay effect using Logic's stock delay plugins. The first way with the mono tape delay and the tremolo plugin set mono to stereo. Second way, the stereo delay plugin, making sure the inputs are set correctly, that's key. And also the crossfeed feedback selections are set for feedback. And the final way is the delay designer. Thanks for watching, and make sure you go to dbwproductions.com or recordla.com for all your high quality music production needs.